Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abum. We are back with Football Manager 2019 and Eastern Reserves with BFC Dynamo. And today we start season five. It's our very first season in the Bundesliga 2, the Zweite Bundesliga, whatever you want to call it. It's the second division of Germany. And uh, we are going to kick off the new campaign today. So the run now for today, transfers, pre-season, and then we take on Jan Regensburg in our first game in the new season. A team that we have actually faced before, back in our very first season. But before we jump into that, let's first of all have a look at uh, our transfer window. Um, I got most of my business done very early. Probably only need maybe one or two more players. So uh, we spent some money. Um, we got rid of a few players. I think it's been really, really good. So let's first of all look at the players that have left the club after their contracts expired. So we'll start with Leander Seaman, the centre-back, who has now gone to Victoria. Who um, Are they still in the fourth tier? They are still in the fourth tier. Uh, he's gone there. Um, had a good few years for us, but he um, wasn't playing as many games as I would have liked. He wasn't playing as many games as he would have liked. So I thought the best thing to do was just to let him go and uh, hopefully back down in the fourth division he can get some regular football. Joshua Silva has been a solid left back for us for the most part, but uh, at the end of last season he was just two stars. So uh, he has gone. He's gone to Freya Monday, back to Portugal. Um, he played a few games for us last season and actually did pretty well. He was a regular starter in seasons two and three and the first season as well. Um, he's been with the club since 2016, so been a, a, a long time servant um, for what was it five years. So, yeah, sad to see him go, but he just wasn't good enough for a uh, second division. Jan Hoffman was a bit of a waste of money. He hasn't been picked up by anyone else. Uh, I don't think we really needed him. Um, we had a lot of options in midfield, and I don't really think we needed a third playmaker. So, bit of a silly decision on my part, but he was free. Um, he's not a massive hole in the, um, in the wage budget, so uh, it wouldn't have been too bad to keep him around but he wasn't happy with how little was being played so he wanted to leave so we've let him go. Fabian Fritscher uh, kind of the same story as Silva for left back um, the right back just not good enough for us anymore again it was two star current ability started the season well um, got some games never really put in some great performances until that like, most recently where he did average 7.3 but only over five games so I think as a regular right back he just couldn't put together the form but I think throughout he's been solid. Lastly, Emmanuel Steele for the right. Uh, again, we never really gave him a fair chance and he wasn't happy about it. But every time we played him, he never seemed to do well. So just maybe not a very good player. And uh, he's still a free agent. He's a half American as well as German. Uh, so he has gone as well. That's the notable departures. There are some other younger players, but I don't think they're ever going to feature. You know about uh, Ilya Azemi. He has uh, gone back to his home nation, Kosovo, playing for Pristina. So uh, he left us, um, I think it was in January, I think it was in February he decided to go. So he's gone back to Pristina, uh, had some appearances off the bench in uh, European competition. So I guess they're qualifying for the Champions League. But um, Azemi's been a good season, a good servant for us for, was it four seasons? And uh, yeah, last season just had a too long a goal drop, 21 matches without scoring. Did get four goals in the season in the end, but his uh, run-in was uh, hampered by injury. So, uh, yeah, we've said goodbye to his Emmy. He's gone back to Kosovo. Max Kolka has been on loan for us for uh, three seasons and been a really, really good um, central midfielder. Last season, it kind of lost his place to Michael Schlitz, like, sort of throughout. So, I've decided not to loan him again. It was available to loan again from Dynamo Dresden, but they're now in the same league as us and they're local rivals to us. That's a big game. I'm looking forward to that game this season against Dynamo Dresden, the two most successful clubs in what was East Germany. So Kolka, not going to be joining us again, but we have decided to bring in another playmaker and a permanent one at that. Also, Anton Rucker went back to Leipzig and then his contract expired. So he is a free agent, but his wage demands are just a little bit too high for us. So we're not bringing Rucker back in. And then lastly, uh, Felix Altricht has gone back to Hansa Rostock. We could bring in him again on loan, but we're now above Rostock in the league. We could buy him permanently. We were able to. We can't afford it. But um, his report is three-star current ability. I think we could probably loan someone who's better than this guy, this guy. We might even be able to buy someone who's better than him permanently. So... I didn't go for him again this season, but we have reloaned Tomasevsky. The German Poles back with us again for a season. Um, I think this will be his third season with us. Uh, no, second season. So, uh, yeah, he had a good showing last time round. Got some goals for us. A couple of goals. 
Yeah, it was very solid for us. So he's back again. And he has been joined by two more loanees. One is from RB Leipzig and it is Andreas Fink, an 18 year old German who plays at centre back. So pretty much a like for like swap for uh, Anton Ruka. Can play as a ball playing defender. I don't know if that will benefit us or not if we're able to play that. But just a very solid, well rounded centre back. Physicals are all very, very good. He's good in the air. His marking's decently six foot two. So hopefully he can sort out our issues with set pieces. Decent leadership as well. So he can sort out that back line. His heading isn't great, but his marking's decent, so he's all right in the air. He just can't win headers, so at least he can like hassle the tall men that are playing against us. So not a bad centre back to get in on loan, and again it's from our uh, senior affiliate. But um, I don't know how long they'll be like that because if we get to the top flight, that will end. So no more loans from Leipzig. The other loanee is a striker from Fortuna Düsseldorf. His name is Jean Claude Cabea. Four star current mobility, five star potential. This is what I meant when I said we can definitely upgrade on uh all trick two pretty much same plays the same role 17 finishing which i absolutely love again he's good in the air he's six foot four heading 11 is not too bad mentals again also brilliant lots of 15s and 16 as well very strong this looks like he could be a very good striker and i'm hoping he can get some goals for us as long as he plays we've got four good strikers i think so it's going to be difficult to play them all and keep them all happy but we've got some very good options up front couple of youngsters we'll start off with Jens Riedman 16 right back not got a lot of current ability at the moment just one and a half star but five star potential so if that guy does well for the second team then he might be able to get into the first team physically decent for his age already uh, very brave leadership's all right good work great determination is a little bit low but with short tutoring and mentoring and that hopefully that will change but um, yeah one to watch out for in the next few years definitely uh, he was signed from Unterharkin, who uh, are in the regional division in Bavaria, £32,000. And the other one from Offenbach for £30,000, uh, also 16 years old, Hanno Schachten, who's a defensive midfielder, not a position that we play at the moment, but I'm hoping to get him trained up to be a ball winner. Uh, free kicks are decent, good tackling, very brave, not too aggressive, which uh, that's good. Uh, pacey, I like pace in midfield, that can be good. Uh, physically everywhere really well rounded you can't jump is the only problem there and some good decent mentals as well so again one to watch out for in the next few years Hanno Schachten uh, a free transfer now Julius Frank uh, signed from Leipzig after his contract expired he is a central midfielder very versatile central midfielder I'll say that he can play as a playmaker he can play as a ball winner so he can do everything in midfield hopefully he's more of a jack of all trades than uh, a master of none but we will see only 18 three and a half star current ability four and a half star potential got some very good attributes as well physically again very good mentals got some brilliant mentals i like bravery leadership's good as well teamwork vision so i'm really hoping he can pick out a pass i'm a 12 pass and hopefully he can do that he's young but he's got a very good current ability he's got some potential about him as well i like the look of this guy uh two more players to show you we've got max fuchs from uh, Borussia Dortmund, played for Dortmund 2, £55,000 were paid for this player, he's been at Dortmund for a few years, we've got him in, um, another striker, the fourth striker we have, but he looks incredible, 15 finishing, he can dribble, he's got good first touch, he's decent in the air, he's only 5'9", but he can win a header, uh, mentals again, some very good mentals, brilliant off the ball, physically, he's pacey, he's agile, he's fit as well, so another very good striker we've got some great options again it's about using them all and keeping them all happy and then lastly uh one more midfielder dominic presthofer from karlsruhe uh he we've paid one hundred and ten thousand for him but we're paying it over two years so it's going to be fifty five thousand, and then the rest of it will be paid over the next two years so we're not paying it all straight away first touch is 17 brilliant um as a midfielder not bad passing physically again good got some pace good balance decision making is decent good vision decent off the ball the signings have been brilliant it's about making sure they all play and they all get used but i think we've had a really good transfer window we spent over two hundred and twenty thousand pounds i think we're done really really well but hopefully it'll be enough to um, keep us up in the second division pre-season has been pretty good we've had some tough games in pre-season as well i've organized some good fixtures with some top sides so I thought that might be worth doing. So today we take on Jan Regensburg. You may well see a German Cup game against Bayern. What a draw for the German Cup. Our first time in the tournament since our first season. Well, we actually lost to Regensburg. 
Uh, we lost 3-0. I mean, the team looks very different there to what it does now. But uh, we lost 3-0. Didn't have a shot on target. So hopefully we've improved on that in the last four years. Unsurprisingly, our media prediction is rock bottom, but not far actually. Us and Heidenheim are the um, outsiders, and then you go to Regensburg on 350 to 1. So, not looking as bad in terms of odds, but they still uh, fancy us to go down. So, let's jump into the match then. Against Regensburg, you can see their victory from us in that cup game. Let's pick a team. Right, so this is what we're going to go with today. Now, I think I made some mistakes pre-season and my assistant took charge of the matches and I don't think I let him have a team selection. So pretty much the team that I played on the last day of last season played. So <laughs> apart from the ones that left. So Mark Curie played every pre-season match. I don't think that was meant to happen. So uh, Bernard Hender will play in goal despite his lack of match fitness. Back four of Agdari, Halili, uh, Fink making his debut and then Kircher at right back. Urkic, Slicked, McConnell and Grysel, the four in midfield. I mean, we could go for some of our new players, but we're going to stick with the originals and see what they can do. But up front, Brasnitz are going to play alongside the debutant Kabea, who's making his first appearance. Fuchs and Klein are available on the bench as striker options. Prest Hoffer and Tomasevsky in midfield. Paradis is going to be on the bench, uh, along with Greco, a couple of youngsters, also uh, Salah. Uh, we've got a couple of injury concerns. Bloom carrying an injury at the moment. Kamari just coming back from an injury. So, um, yeah, team's not in the greatest of uh, positions, but we can at least put a team out. That's good. Three debutants in the Regensburg side. Micaiah Octe in the central attacking midfield. He looks very well-rounded. The debutant centre-back is named Hug. So, presumably, he's going to be grabbing the strikers as they come forward, asking for a cuddle. And then Adamian, the striker... Again, looks very good. It's going to be a tough season, but let's see how we start. I'm not sure how this is going to go, but show me what you can do, lads. I think we can start expecting some more money from these as well. The stadium's looking good. Look at the fans as well. Off we go. First game in the second division for BFC Dynamo. We got that prize money, and most of it went straight to our squad for bonuses, so we are still a good amount in debt, but we did clear it as low as about 200,000, so that's good. I think we can expect less mistakes now as well as uh, we're in the uh, second division. I don't think we'll be seeing as many own goals or back passes or people being caught out in defence. Maybe, but hopefully not. And they've given the ball away here to Kabea on his debut. Let's see what he can do. Grysel with the ball. Brasnitz lays it off in McConnell. Urkic, this could be a nice early goal here and it is less than two, three minutes into our first game. And we have a 1-0 league. Dragon Urkic gets the first goal. I can't even talk. I've been eating biscuits. My mouth's a bit dry. You don't need to know that. But what you do need to know is that we are 1 0 up. What a start to our first second division game. Urkic in the space, passes the keeper, and that's a good goal. And less than three minutes in, we lead 1 0. Riedersberg, not happy at going down so early. Looking to make a forward run here. Mahaya got players on that flank, and Salah's got it. Bit of a mix up, but they've kept the ball. Are they going to go for goal here? Mahaya could do. It's a bass that goes for goal. Save made by... Double save by uh, Hendel. Great stuff. And now the counter-attack is on. Grysel. What can he do here? He's got... Um, Kabea in front of him. Goes for a cross, but it's blocked. And uh, Schlicht. Always oh, made the tackle there. No card's going to be given, but Schlicht with a foul. A die with a free kick in our half. Schlicht. Got cool, like four or five goals last season. That's a ball for Kabea though. Can he put make it 2-0? No, he can't. Weiss makes the save, but a decent effort by the debutant. Uh, long ball by the goalkeeper. Brasnich. He's been brought down, but play was still with us. Kabea. Kircher coming up in support is the wing back. That's a great cross. Salah with header away, but Schlick can go for goal. And it's 2-0. 30 minutes with 2-0 up. First game in the second division, and we're having an amazing start. 2-0 up, and Schlick gets his first goal. Wow, I, I can't believe how well this is going. I thought we were doomed in this match. <laughs> Last time we played these guys, we lost 3-0 in a cup game. We're 2-0 up after half an hour. Excellent, excellent work. Mahaya coming forward for Regensburg. And a great tackle by Schlick. I paused it by accident, but a great tackle by Michael Schlick. He's having an amazing game so far. Think the new centre-back. McConnell to Kabea. McConnell's got it back. Michael Slick got one goal today. Um, gives it to Urkic. And now uh, Grysel, the winger coming forward. Urkic is there. Kabea. Oh, that should have been 3-0. God, this is going so well. Just a minute left to go. Can we hold on to this with a clean sheet? Hopefully, uh, there won't be a late goal for them, guys. Hannah, though. Lace. 
Mahaya. Guypal's got it. He's on the edge of the 18-yard box. Goes for goal. Hits the post. And oh, Abbas does not react in time. And Kircher wins the tackle. And now clear it. And now hopefully that will be it for uh, the first half. Great first half performance. Really, really good performances by us. Brasnitz with a free kick here. And it's 3-0. Just three minutes into the second half. Three minutes into the first half. Three minutes into the second half. We've got goals. We're 3-0 up. A great free kick by uh, Mark Brasnitz. Can he get that... 20 plus goal tally once again it's his last season i don't know if we'll keep him next season his contract demands are ridiculous and he has a release clause as well which is only about eighty thousand. so i don't know how much longer we'll keep brasnich but this has been a really good performance and a corner now for slicks is this going to be four nil oh it could be brasnich oh it's saved by the keeper slicks got it back again can he put another ball in he can but it's back uh, behind for a corner is it no it's not slicks got it 61 minutes. Right, Schlicht is going to have to come off now. He's had a brilliant game, but he's getting very tired. Presthofer is going to come on for his debut. Going to keep him as the deep line playmaker. 65 minutes. 3-0 leads. This could not have gone much better. It really couldn't. We've been amazing. And they've made all three subs. Brasnitz with another free kick. And it's 4-0. Oh my god, guys. How has this... I don't know how this has happened, but I love it. 4-0 up. Still about 20 minutes left to go as well. I can't believe. We're new to this division. Weiss has had an oh, absolute nightmare there. New to this division. And we are creaming Regensburg 4-0. They are lower down in the division. But, wow. Right. Um, Urkic needs to come off. We don't have a left midfielder. So, Kai Kleinert's going to move out to the left. And then we're also going to bring on uh, Paradisi for Greisel. Five minutes left in what has been an absolutely stunning game. 4-0, clean sheet. Uh, man of the match goes to Brasnitz for his two free kick goals. And just a few seconds left now as uh, we've got the ball in the box again. McConnon to Akdari. I mean, this could be 5-0, but there's only seconds left. Halili gives it to Paradisi. Paradisi is headed away. Not very far, though. And uh, Lais now um, way, way too late. That's going to be full time now, isn't it? Dynamo 4, Regensburg 0. I mean, that could not have gone better for an opening fixture in uh, Season 5, in the, the first season in Division 2. Absolutely amazing. Loved it. Well, it's a perfect start to the season. I don't know how long we'll keep it going. But Duisburg are next. And then you've got Bayern in that German Cup game. And then Karlsruhe in 1860 Munich. I don't know when we'll be next, but it'll be around Heidenheim, Augsburg. It'll be sort of mid-September, so the transfer window will be closed. Still looking for a couple of players. We definitely need uh, two fullbacks, one for either side, because we only have Kurt Schwinnick Dari now. So we definitely need a couple of fullbacks. We might need a centre-back as well. We have Fink and Halili. We have Greco. Bloom has just come back from injury. We might need one more, but I'm not too sure. But what a start to the season that is. A 4-0 win in our opening fixture against the Regensburg. Come a long way since... Uh, losing to them in that first season cup game uh, just shows the leaps and bounds we've gone on brilliant brilliant win and uh, we'll see how long we can keep going but that is going to do it for today guys thank you for watching if you've enjoyed the video do drop a like down below leave comments and if you want to see videos as and when it's up on youtube do hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell to receive updates if i upload or go live and follow me on social media so you don't miss any of my content like i said i'll see you next time sort of around mid to late september so it'll be around hyden and augsburg uh, we'll see where we stand after about five or six games. Uh, a <laughs> really good start. Let's keep it going. Thank you for watching, guys. I will see you soon. Uh, goodbye. Brilliant stuff. Love it.